This month is not only International Women's Month, it's also Social Work Month. Yes, and today we are honoring great work and powerful women who are making a difference. Joining us now live to spotlight their impact is mental health advocate Latrice Kabuya. Latrice, so good to see you. Always, always good to see you guys. <laughs> hello, so, hello, happy Friday. Happy Friday. So tell us, what are some of the things that social workers actually do for our community? Well, first of all, let's just say this, social work is essential work. So that's very important. And we're used to seeing them in schools, hospitals, nonprofits and stuff like that. But honestly, it's more of a reach in administration and management. We're in advocacy, we're in politics, believe it or not, research and in policy. So. We are serving the community and serving the community, we're serving families and in serving families, we're serving individuals. Oh, I love that. Now, what are some things people have been dealing with um, since the start of the pandemic that social work has made a big difference with? Wow, this pandemic has caused such an uproar in, in so many ways, but in depression, right? Suicidal ideation. Um, and this is real and people chuckle, but Zoom fatigue. Oh, yeah. And so we, yeah. And so we have to be very creative as social workers and how to serve our community, how to serve the people. Um, teletherapy is huge. It's always been there, but to another level is what we're doing. And even taking care of the kiddos and mental health um, weekly Zoom meetings to make sure they're okay. But then, you know, the pandemic has really affected finances. So being an advocate and helping families find resources for food, clothing, even shelter. And then we've all, all have seen the social injustice. So being in that policy arena, right, where we are changing policies, changing systems, so that everyone is served equally and not just a certain group. Oh, yeah, it's so important. There's so many layers, like you said, to this pandemic. It's really been hard to navigate it all. Uh, yes. Latrice, who are some of the trailblazers that really stand out to you past and present when it comes to this? Wow, well, you know, we always gotta go to the past so we can see how it's impacting our current and our future. So Dorothy Hyde is, amazing and you can google her she was the godmother of civil rights she played a major role in the march on washington in 1963 then she became great again by finding the national women's political caucus in 71 and then there's the barbara mcclowski she's the first democratic women to serve in both U.S. House Representative, as well as the U.S. Senate. She just was like, I'm just gonna be great over and over again. And then we talk about current people. That one woman named Latrice Kabuya, <laughs> who is making a difference in mental health, right? Aww. Taking that stigma off of mental health and advocating that everyone has an opportunity to get the right resources to serve their mental health into wellness and so you'll be reading about her seeing all about her all over <laughs> you heard Promise it here first that. latrice we appreciate you yeah, thank you very much thank, thank you. you we truly appreciate all the work you do thank you take care take care